Some of my greatest memories of my childhood were sitting with my grandmother and listening to her stories. She could tell stories from the old country. She could tell stories coming through Ellis Island. She would tell us stories about moving month to month because they had no money, story after story after story. And you know what? People don't tell stories very much anymore. So we're going to change that with our next guest. <laughs> we have Sanyika the fire starter, who is going to share with us the art of storytelling. The first story you can tell us yeah. is tell us about your name. Absolutely. First of all, thank you so much for having me here. We're so happy you're here. I, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> you are good. You and grandma sitting around. Isn't it? And I used to sit with her. I was the grandchild who was on her knee. I was yeah. like right there with her all the time. Yeah, yeah. So I'll give you the background on the San Yika, the fire starter thing, and then we can you know, talk a little bit about the power of storytelling. Okay. So, one of, so my name, San Yika, is a Nigerian name. So Nigeria and Africa. I'm not from Africa, I'm from Washington, D.C. <laughs> okay. Though my ancestors are. But Sanyika means leader of his people. <clears throat> and so I, I'm a, a performing artist, I'm a keynote speaker, and I teach the power of storytelling. And I, had a, I did a talk at this one location, and this guy came off of it, really accomplished musician, and he said, you know, Sanyika, you're great. He said, with my help, we can get you from great to excellent and excellent to transcendent. I was like, I'm all over there. Excuse me. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a Zoom call. And the very first, this is my very first coaching experience. And he said, Senyuka, he said, what do you do? He said, uh, I said, well, I'm a keynote speaker. I'm a performing artist. You know. He said, no, 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 no. He said, those are modalities. He said, what do you do? I was like, if you don't get off this phone trying to confuse my mind and my brain at the same time, two, three, four, five minutes go by. And then eventually... I mumbled something to him. I said, I think I start fires in people. And then he said, oh, so you're a fire starter. Mm. So that started it. And, and then I had, I, over about a year, I started to really develop what that really means. And the whole, the whole idea is that one of the first human innovations was the discovery of controlled fire. So the, one of our first leaders was the person that started the fire, right? the fire starter. So they combined everybody around the fire. And then we, we communicate it, right? So fire changed the way that we live on a day-to-day -day basis, right? It, you could heat food. There was no more bacteria. It turned the night into, you know, the day into night. So now you could actually see. But story changed the way that we live because now it allowed us to live forever. With story, you can teach. How did you get that shirt, Amy? Well, let me tell you a story. <laughs> right? It's a really funny it's story. It's a really funny story, right? <laughs> so story allows us to communicate. And there's scientific components to it, oxytocin and you know, dopamine, the, 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 the things that trigger as a result of story because it's such our, it, it speaks to the way that we learn information. But everybody's failed science. I, most people don't know how oxytocin and dopamine affect your, you don't know none of that stuff. Nor do you care. The, oh, nor do you care, right? <laughs> The truth is, is that story is the most powerful illustrator of information ever. Mm -hmm. I so am with you. Uh, so I, I got a, I came at it from an academic perspective. Mm -hmm. I don't have, I'm not a fire starter, I'm a fire listener. Mm -hmm. And um, Walter Fisher, he is the person that I based my PhD dissertation on. Mm -hmm. He said that humans are not homo sapiens, they're homo nerens. Because that is how we communicate and how we live and how we tell, how we how we learn is through stories. Mm. So I'm I'm right right, right there, there with you, right Goodness there Christ. with you. I love that. I love that. So yeah. So that's that's the the combination. So that's transformed mm -hmm. uh, into opportunities to speak. So I, I do keynote talks mm -hmm. and where I combine spoken word performance with teaching the power of storytelling. Because that amazing voice had to be used <laughs> I, to help others transcend. That's what it like feels like. I feel like I'm listening to music when he I talks. Know. Like, honestly, it's just, it's so like <laughs> amazing to listen to. Yeah. I, I very much Beautiful appreciate that. that. You know, the, the, the one of the unique things not about voice is that I do another workshop on voice. So we talk about voice. And, and when people hear voice and they hear my voice and they say, oh, my voice needs to sound like his voice now. Your voice just needs to be a channel for the message that you have to convey mm -hmm. to the world. Right? So that's really it. So it's just about what you have to convey and the way that you convey it. And, we want to, you're in, and the idea is, is that your story has power. 
it's not just information. It's not just this thing that you tell people about what it is that you do. It is a powerful mechanism to enroll people in who you are and what you are about. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and that's, that's the amazing part that if we actually started to share stories yeah. with each other more than straight up information, yeah. we'd not only learn so much more, but our heart connections would be so much deeper. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this whole show has been about heart and mm -hmm. you know, in the Valentine's month and just mm -hmm. looking at ways to connect more deeply. Yeah. I love what you just said because storytelling takes the learning out of the head mm -hmm. and right into Puts your it heart. Into the heart. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah. Good job, Lauren. <coughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I take it wherever I can get it. You guys so are good. We are fun. I'm we have fun. a good time. We want you here. to have a good time. I'm having a great time. So you do, you go into schools, you go into corporations, yeah. and I met you because you performed for a specific project that you're focused on yeah. now. Tell us about the Teddy Bear Project. So one of the things, the other things that I do is I do these brand campaigns where I tell powerful stories in partnership with brands to ignite social movements. Mm. So one of the pieces that we did last year, or a year, a year ago, a little over a year ago, was called Thank You For Your Service. Oh. It was a partnership with the U.S. Department of Defense mm. and this network called the All Warrior Network. Mm. We released that on Veterans Day and it reached about 2.4 million households when it was released. It was wow. very well received. Wow. So I told the story of, of what it really means to serve. And so the first few lines of that piece go, um, thank you for your service. But what does that really mean? You see, I never spent a single day on a battlefield. Never had to enlist and leave my life behind. Never woke up at five for boot camp daily grind. Never had to practice ducking a bomb blast or risk discovering our shrapnel fields. And so it was really exploring what it really means to serve. The next one that we're working on is called the teddy bear campaign. These, these campaigns are meant to ignite people to take actions that change the world, actions that help veterans. And in the teddy bear campaign, the idea is this is the story of gun violence told from the perspective of the one that we have forgotten, the teddy bear. So it tells a story. So there's a spoken word piece called More Than I Can Bear, which tells the story of a school shooting from the perspective of a teddy bear. So the first line of that piece is you heard it goes, for every kid lost in a school shooting, there's a lonely teddy bear. Mm. And that is the thesis of the piece. Because mm. it just speaks to that moment. And we're going to hear that. We're going to hear more of that. Yeah, uh, I'm going to perform it for you all. So you're going to perform it for us. So that's amazing. And Can I add one more thing? Please. So the other one is, an, is, an, is, the, is the... It's great to be able to create content. But a fire starter shows up. They are a physical presence, right? You're a physical presence, right? You're a physical presence. We show up, we, we, we stand up for things that matter. So we're building towards a moment on the 20 year anniversary of the Columbine shooting where we deliver 535 physical teddy bears to the steps of the US Capitol to, to inspire every congressperson to take actions legislatively to help to end gun violence. Mm. Amazing. That's wonderful. And if everyone isn't moved by this, then they really do need to check mm -hmm. <laughs> to see if they have a heart and a pulse. Mm, a heart, yeah. Because this is really an important campaign, and this is an issue that, um, until it is actually resolved, yeah. it needs to continue to be out there and, and brought up in many, many different ways. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for, for, for being fire starters and allowing me to, to voice it because more people, the more people hear about it, the more opportunity they get a chance to really hear the story of what it is that we're doing so that they can enroll in, in taking these actions that help to change the world. Fabulous. So Sanika, how can people find you if they want to bring you in for either their own campaign or bring you in to do a program in a school or a corporation? Uh, so you can go to firestarterlive.com, that's my website, and you can go to teddy, teddybearcampaign.org to learn more about the Teddy Bear Campaign. Okay. If so you go to Firestarter Live, you'll see a link. A everything link is there. Everything there. So we're going to set up to have you speak us out from the mm, show. Nice. We're very excited and we're very honored and we can't thank you enough for coming yeah. down to share thank with us so and share with our viewers. Thank you. And this has been an amazing show. I am just, I feel like I'm in this state of zen right now right. where I'm like, 
I have 10 things that I want to just work on now and just be better for like 2019. And I'm also a little bit mesmerized by your voice still. <laughs> <laughs> Quite honestly, I'm like, oh, but you're all in your now. heart. You are I am. I know. I, feel I am. It. I feel it. It's just like this beautiful, like, abundant feeling. And so. that, I think, is the true meaning of Valentine. It is yeah. abundance, and we wish you all a lot of love and a lot of happiness this Valentine's Day and throughout the year. See you next time. Good day, Good day Orange, Orange County. County. For every kid lost in a school shooting is a lonely teddy bear that your parents gave to you. I'm sitting here in your chair. No matter how old you got, you will smile when you see me. The constant reminder of how life used to be easy. You told me your darkest secrets. We shared your greatest achievements. You got a bad grade. I'm the first one that you would speak with. Then breaking news, 17 dead in the floor of the school, and you're the one not coming home. I can't believe it. They say a teddy bear should never have to bury his owner. But tombstones paved the roads from Parkland to Compton, California, with mothers screaming and crying out like broken pipes of water. How do you tell grieving parents their baby became a martyr? It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair for any teddy bear to go from playing cards with you to playing solitaire. Your spirit, I can hear it. Can feel it in the air, appreciate everyone's love, but we need more than thoughts and prayers. The silence from all of this gun violence is more than I can bear. For every parent who's holding this lonely teddy bear, every future family dinner with a single empty chair, every brother and sister yelling, never again. For everyone that knows that next time's just a matter of when A school shooting's just news till the phone rings for the mother Father denies the news where it truly couldn't recover Brother and sister brace for the news holding each other With the bruise from tragic news this teddy bear's left to suffer The third largest killer of kids is gun violence So how can a parent's screams be solved by moments of silence? Watching her baby's dreams fade away in the sound of sirens Mama bear lost her cub, now she's playing the God forgotten It's not fair It's not fair It's not fair I know I shouldn't swear But I But I swear I'd give anything to make you reappear Your spirit, I can hear it Can feel it in the air Appreciate everyone's love But we need more than thoughts and prayers the silence from all of this gun violence is more than I can bear. We've been fighting for common sense, but not using our common sense. That's the reason that common sense is taking such a long time. It's millions of teddy bears grieving someone that isn't there. It's been almost 20 years we've been roaring since Columbine. So now I'm making a move and I brought an army with me. We can't change the past, so our future is making history. Started as teddy bears, now we're turning into grizzlies. Yeah, yeah, we're taking a stand. No more devil's advocate. We're marching for our lives, cause these kids ain't having it. You for the Second Amendment? We're right there with you. We are the Second Amendment, a regulated militia. And there's people that will try their best to silence your voice. So it's important that you stay motivated. Doesn't matter your rage, step to the stage. In this moment, make a powerful choice, cause your voice, your voice, your voice is the strongest weapon that has ever been created. And we will not bear another life lost. We will not bear losing a daughter, son, or friend. And for those that stand with us as we fight for those we love, we will yell, never again. We will not bear another life lost. We will not bear losing a daughter, son, or friend. And for those that stand with us as we fight for those we love, we will say, never again. We will yell, never again. We will roar, never again.
And for those that stand with us as we fight for those we love, we will rule. Never again.